As the Biden administration works to develop a national system for people to prove they've been vaccinated against the coronavirus across the pond, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson is considering a similar idea. For more on what's going on in England, we're joined by Jonathan Scarcida. He's a British journalist and political analyst. Uh, how will the rollout work in the UK? So far, we don't actually know. Boris Johnson has said initially that there wouldn't be a vaccine passport system. And then just a few days ago, he said that perhaps it would be something put in place, in particular for people going to public spaces like pubs and bars. And that's been something of a shock, not just to the British public, but also to many within his own Conservative Party, who traditionally are very against things like that, which might get in the way of civil liberties. Right. Now, to that specific point, obviously, America founded on a fierce skepticism of centralized power. You know, talk to us a little bit about the politics of rolling that out overseas in the UK. Well, the same here. British people are very proud of their freedom and, and consider this a very free country. And that's why the last year has been something of a rude awakening, because people aren't used to having the government tell them what they can do every day of their lives. It, it's only today that things have started to ease up on our current lockdown. People are now allowed to go out and meet other people outdoors in groups of six or two households. Now, if you told me that that was going to be something that we'd be dealing with in Great Britain just a year and a half ago, I would have thought you were insane. If you told me that it was a conservative government that was going to put in place laws like that, I'd have thought you were really insane. And if you told me that the population of Great Britain would have supported it, in fact, even begged the government to put those laws in place earlier than they did, then I really would have thought you'd lost the plot. So you can see how we've learned an awful lot during this year. And people do still predominantly support the idea of lockdowns in order to control COVID-19. In fact, in polling done just this month, there was support for a passport system for vaccinations in going into pubs. Quite solid support, actually, among the population. Now, we've learned here in the U.S. the hard way that uh, sometimes the polls aren't worth the paper they're written on. Uh, we've seen some uh, of reports and, and also some protests in U.K. pushing back against some of these uh, more extreme lockdown measures. Uh, your pulse of the people right now, what is your perspective? Well, there is, of course, increasing dissatisfaction with those sorts of lockdowns and rules. They're just not natural for people to be living under, especially in a democracy uh, like Great Britain. But people have, as I said, learned that these things are in some ways there to save lives. Now, where this is getting tricky is because it's been going on for so long. It's about a year since we started the lockdowns in the UK and those rules came into place for the first time. And they've obviously been tightened and loosened depending on the rates of COVID infections around the nation. But basically, we've been living under very strict authoritarian rules for quite some time now. Right. Also, people are struggling financially. Businesses are struggling and people are looking at the dropping uh, rate of COVID. For example, we've just seen the first 24 hour period when there hasn't been a single COVID death in London for six months. When they're seeing those sorts of improvements, the impressive rate of the vaccination program here in the UK doing extremely well at vaccinating large numbers of the population, people are starting to ask if it's time to loosen these restrictions much more and give back people's liberty. Absolutely, 100%. We'll keep looking at what's happening across the pond. But Jonathan Sacerdoti, thank you so much, my friend. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.